production orders. To submit a new production order, on the left hand side, select production from the menu. To start a new production order, if you are the copywriter, simply click New PO. At the top, select your customer. And then is this a standard production order or a pre-produced production order? I'm going to select standard. My production order form will appear. We'll begin by giving it a copy title. Next up, the length of the production order. What read style you would like the talent to read it in? Hard, medium, or soft sell? How many voices will be required for this production order? When is my produce by date? What date do I need this back by with enough time to get it approved by the client if necessary? I'll select tomorrow. Is this a co-op production order? I can put a check in the box. If you assign a cart number at this stage of the production order process, simply enter it in the cart number field. Do you have a talent request? Simply enter it into the talent box. You can go specific like that example, or maybe you want to keep it more generic. Next up, what will the production order need, if anything? Will we need to attach a jingle or tagline to it? Will it need a music bed underneath? or something else. If you have a selection to make, simply check the box, and then you can expand on those instructions in the instruction box itself. Are there any special pronunciations required for talent? I want to encourage you to add as much pronunciation information as you think might be necessary, especially if your production is sent out of house, out of town, or out of state. Don't take for granted the talent that's assigned this production order will know how to pronounce city names, street names, business names that to you might be second nature. I live in a community called Lake Havasu. Havasu to me is a very easy word to pronounce, but when we send our production out of state, people might have trouble with it. I would enter it in phonetically in the production box, pronunciation box. Next up, we'll start entering writing our copy, or in my case, pasting my copy. You'll notice that above the copy box, a counter is following along as I paste. In this case, I'm shooting for a 30 second commercial. I'm right at 30 seconds now. There are leeway settings available in the system. These are set as an administrative basis that will allow a production order to be submitted a certain length over the desired length. The company I work for, we allow for two extra seconds. Now I have my copy listed here. I can insert comments in the copy box themselves and not have it count against my desired time by using my F2 function key. If I needed, for example, to insert sound effect instructions or voice instructions, I would simply put my cursor where I need those comments to be, hit F2 on my function keys, and then enter my comment between the square brackets. I'll say box number one. You'll notice as I enter my instructions that my timer does not change. Comments inserted with your F2 function key do not count against your timer. I could continue to enter in comments or instructions. Perhaps I have some sound effects instructions I want to include. Simply type them in again between the square brackets. You'll note, I've stayed constant at 30 seconds. You do have some additional options. You can underscore, bold, italicize, change the size of your font, add some color, etc. Let's assume I've completed my copy. That really is all there is to the production order form itself. I can either save my changes and continue working on them later, or I can send it to be produced, as I will in this example. Hit Apply. Now that production order has left the copywriter status and will now be found from the production order list in the production department status. You'll note that my copywriter status is at zero. The new production order I just started has been submitted and is now in the production status 
where it will be reviewed and assigned to talent if there are no problems.